Hi uh, again, thanks for coming back. 2 Peter chapter 3 is where we are, are up to currently. Um, last week uh, we were finishing off 2 Peter chapter 2. The whole of chapter 2 talks about false teachers and there was lots of uh, examples of uh, people whose eyes are full of adultery, who are greedy, who are driven by storm, who mouth empty boastful words, who live in error, etc, etc, etc. And I was, I moved quickly on from that last Thursday because I was conscious that it would be in kind of depressing land for a little while. Moving into chapter three, we've got something much more uh, much better for us. Uh, Peter talks about wholesomeness, wholesome thinking, the end of, of verse one. However, Peter still wants to remind us again of why we need to go on uh, reflecting on scripture, having these wholesome thoughts and ways of life. And in verse three of chapter three, he, he gives, he starts one of those reminders. Above all, he says, you must understand that in the last days, scoffers will come scoffing and following their evil desires. Scoffers will come scoffing. People who want to talk down the power of, of Almighty God. People who want to laugh at those who, uh, who dare to follow his ways. People who, who find it amusing or entertaining that we as uh, intelligent, rational human beings should want to uh, reflect upon him and, and seek to follow his ways. That will happen. Uh, Jesus promised it. Uh, Paul promised it. Peter promises it. The prophets promised it. And it's a fact of life that not everybody will understand the necessity to draw near to God while he may be found and to honour and worship him. But it doesn't matter that scoffers scoff. It doesn't matter that others want to follow their own evil desires. I mean, it does matter. It matters very much to them. And because we love them, it, it can matter a little to us. But actually, my point is that even though we may encounter that kind of opposition and even persecution, it doesn't matter. It doesn't alter our place uh, among God's people so long as we stick close to God's truth. And so whilst taking heed of this warning, remembering that scoffers will come scoffing and um, following their own evil desires, our task is to stay close and faithful to Almighty God. Our task is to remain uh, close to him, to recall the words spoken in the past by the Holy Prophets, uh, to be reminded of the commands given by our Lord and to base our lives on those, not to base our lives on some Biddy else's ideas of what is amusing or entertaining or true. We know the truth because we read the truth in God's holy and inspired word. So let's not allow the scoffers who scoff to influence our desires, to twist our ways into towards their evenness. But let us instead show our love and appreciation to God by following him and staying close to him. And let's pray for his help in doing that. Lord God, thank you that we can stand firm because you've given us a full armour to be able to do that. Help us, we pray, during those moments of weakness and enable us to stay faithful to you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless. Uh, I hope you do that well. Uh, I'd love to uh, engage. I'd love to hear from you in uh, how we can uh, encourage one another in this wholesome thinking idea and in this standing firm notion. But take good care. God bless you.